Oh boy, back here with our fireball control deck. <laughs> Mind swipe, actually. Our fireball counter spell control deck. Um, this hand's a little land light and a little riddle of lightning heavy, but we do have a magma jet and a dig, which will be good eventually. Well, it looks like we're up against Abzan of some sort. And Disdainful Stroke will probably be alright sooner or later. Rather not get Thought Seized. Oh, alright. Sedissy and Den Protector hit the graveyard. Um, yeah. Just play the mountain here. That gives us the option to Magma Jet. Find another island, maybe. See, so yeah, I think we're going to throw the Magma Jet out here. Uh, dig through time. We get a bottom, I guess we get a bottom both. I don't think we can keep either, although they are some of the most powerful cards in our deck. Oh, well, we did find another land. Pass the turn back again. So we can mind swipe for one, can also disdainful stroke if uh, our opponent plays a four drop. So DC. Yeah, I think we are just going to get some value out of this Mind Swipe right now. Disdainful Stroke will always be good. Or usually. Another Disdainful Stroke. Still a little light on blue sources. Uh, our opponent forgot to attack and plays a... Whisperwood Elemental, which will get Disdainful Stroked. How about an Island? Dissolve. Ugh. Yeah, we're definitely a little pinched on lands. I guess any land gets us to Riddle, which hopefully lets us find more lands. Well, another Mind Swipe. Mind Swipe's a little worse when you can't draw lands, or aren't drawing lands. Does our opponent have something? Nope, just a land. Steam Augury. Well, I guess we pass the turn, sit on our counters, and plan on casting Steam Augury at the end of his turn. Hopefully, that'll find us some islands. We can afford to take Wayfinder Beats for now. Alright, Steam Augury, find us at least two lands. Well, Sweetwater Cliffs. I think Sweetwater Cliffs and Dig versus Mindswipe Anticipate Radiant Fountain. If he gives us this pile, we get our blue source, and we'll have another Dig eventually. If he gives us this pile, we get a land and an Anticipate to find another blue source. Plus a Mindswipe, I guess. So he gives us the the bigger pile. Another anticipate. Hmm. Man, if we anticipate and miss a blue source, it's potentially so bad for us. We'll just play Radiant Fountain here and pass the turn. What are we discarding? I guess we can pitch one riddle and the dissolve for now. Since we can't dissolve anyway. The Mind Swipes are getting worse, but they still deal damage, even if you can't cast them for enough to counter the spell. Alright, so we're just going to anticipate. There's a blue source. Excellent. That's what we've been looking for. 
and a mountain too. But anyway, now now we're kind of getting to where we want to be. We have uh, dig through time, have counter spells up, still have a riddle. Carry added is not something we're going to worry about. If our opponent passes, I think we just dig. Yeah. Dig through time. What do we want? Anger gets rid of his creatures. I wouldn't mind having an anger just in our back pocket. Maybe we take the anger and the magma jet, I think. We don't really need another mind swipe or the other steam augury. Our hand is already overflowing with cards. And a lightning strike. Um, so I think we just magma jet right now instead of discarding. Put both on top. That sets us up for an Ugin two turns from now. Also lets us know we have an 8-drop on top of our deck for Riddle if we want to hit our opponent for a bunch of damage. I think if our opponent passes, we're just going to bolt our opponent's face and then... Do we want to anticipate? No, we already know what we're getting. That's fine. We'll wait. Take the Sweetwater Cliffs. So I think here we just pass. If he plays something good, we mind swipe. I guess if he plays anything, we mind swipe. And then Riddle of Lightning for the win. Uh, otherwise, we are just going to Riddle his face since we know we have that Ugin on top. Um, we'll bottom the Mountain. Top Lightning Strike. Top Ugin. Puts our opponent down to four. Uh, now I guess we... One, two, one, two, three, four, yeah. Now I guess we just pass. Our opponent's going to have to play a spell eventually, and Mind Swipe should win us the game. Like Whip of Erebos. I think we're just going to do it for four, just in case he somehow has a counter spell. I don't think our opponent realizes he's just dead. Pays for the mind swipe, but it doesn't matter, the damage still resolves. Our opponent shows us two wayfinders and he throws down the wall. Wonder why he wasn't casting those wayfinders. Was he really worried about our anger of the gods? Anyway, angers. I think we up the angers pretty good against the DC decks. Um, dissipate. We definitely want disdainful stroke. Is also very good. Maybe we cut a couple dissolves for a couple disdainful strokes. Um, can probably cut a riddle. And maybe a Steam Augury, I guess. Riddle's fine, but because uh, it can go to the face, but he doesn't seem to have too many big creatures. I'm thinking Siege Rhino uh, might be the biggest thing we see. I don't know. He could have... Uh, what else could he have? Some sort of Dragon Lord, maybe? Anyway, back here with Game 2. Tons of lands. Lightning Strike and Disdainful Stroke. I think that's good enough. Anger should be very good. Assuming it doesn't get Thaw's East. There's a Wayfinder. Revealing what? Two Sandseep Citadel Sea Shrine Den Protector. Um, I guess we just play another Sweetwater Cliffs. 
We're not going to Lightning Strike this turn because we have the Anger. We can't Disdainful Stroke since he doesn't have 4 mana. So no reason not to get the tap land down, I don't think. Another Wayfinder. Ugh, I really don't want to... Jeez. Everything. <laughs> she... <laughs> That we find to reveal a Johnny Steadfast Whisperwood Disdainful Stroke Ashiok. Ooh, dig. Alright, play an island, ship the turn. Still don't really want to just anger away some Wayfinders. Rather have him play a Sadisi first or something. If he plays a Siege Rhino, we get to counter it. Uh just play a mountain. On the other hand, really would like to win this game because Ashiok can be annoying. We don't have a good way of dealing with it once it resolves, and we don't have a counter spell for it at the moment. Another Wayfinder. This time, what does it hit? Siege Rhino, Thought Seize, Downfall, Opulent Palace. Well, I guess maybe that's good enough to anger. We are taking three a turn. And we don't mind getting a card in our graveyard for our dig. And plus we get to leave up Disdainful Stroke if he plays a Rhino or something. Ugh. Well, there's Ashiok. Ashiok is pretty bad for us. What are we losing? Anger and two Anticipates. So I think we are going to Lightning Strike Ashiok right now. Trim it down a bit. Um, I guess we just play Radiant Fountain here and plan on digging through time, hopefully, at the end of our opponent's turn. Ashiok means... We either need to win fairly quickly, or we could just lose. Wayfinder. The last Wayfinder. Gets Windswept Heath. I think we're going to dig. We could have a Disdainful Stroke, but... Nope, it resolves. So what are our options? Uh, another dig we definitely want. Lightning Strike still doesn't get rid of Ashiok. I guess we take dig and I guess we take the dig and the strike though still. We have plenty of lands. Evolving Wilds. I guess we just play into the Radiant Fountain. This way we can potentially dig again. We just really want to find one of our finishers, Ugin or Karanos. Uh, Ugin would probably be best in this situation. Is that a Siege Rhino about to come down? Alright, Magma Jet, Disdainful Stroke, Dig. A Johnny Steadfast. Alright, so we're really on the Find Ugin plan now. Although, if we find another Lightning Strike, we can get rid of Ashiok. Could have just seen full Stroke of Johnny, but it's just not that threatening. Alright, dig number two. What do you find us? Hopefully, Ugin. Well, I guess we take Mind Swipe and Treasure Cruise. Still not finding either of the cards we really want. Radiant Fountain. Huh. Not sure what to do here. Hopefully we can use our Mind Swipe to kill something. I guess we'll just play Radiant Fountain for now.
still a little worried that he manages to mill or exile our Ugin. That would be very bad. Not this time, though. Good news is, if he plays anything, we can Minesweep for six. And then Lightning Strike the Ashiok to death. But nope. Uh, island. I, mean, I guess we'll just play Island and ship the turn again. We really need him to cast something so we can mind swipe and kill a planeswalker. Either that or just find our Ugin. Well, there goes Ugin. That's bad news. Uh, I guess we lightning strike to get rid of Ashiok. Or not get rid of, but knock down a couple counters off of. Um. So I think we have to treasure cruise here. We're not going to win unless we find our Karanos. Dissipate and lands. Not really what we were hoping for. Uh, we'll just discard a mountain. Doesn't really matter. Uh, we might be in a bit of trouble. Uh, two more burn spells down. More lands. Yeah, that does it. Ugh, unfortunate drawing there. So do we want negates? Maybe bringing in so many disdainful strokes was not wise. Negate does take care of planeswalkers. Also probably hard to cut those dissolves, actually. Could also bring in Crater's Claws, another way to deal with Planeswalker. Maybe we go with three Angers. Cut one Magma Jet. Hmm. Cut one Anticipate. And bring in one Crater's Claw. I think if our opponent doesn't have an Ashiok, or we can deal with the Ashiok, I think they have a hard time winning. So that's what this setup is designed to do. Now we're hoping our opponent doesn't have Thoughtseize, because we would really like to be able to anticipate for another land. Might just get Island here. Sweetwater Cliffs. I think we play the Cliffs. Means we can't anticipate, but that means we can dissolve a potential Ashiok next turn. Which is what we're mostly concerned about. Opulent Palace to our opponent's hand. Now I think we have to play the island and wait on the Sweetwater Cliffs, just in case he does have untapped land Ashiok. Even though untapped island is probably unlikely. 
I think we're going to just dissolve the Thoughtseize. Land. Um, do we want untapped land? Yeah, I think we can keep it. Um, play Sweetwater Cliffs, and that means we have Riddle up next turn. The other option would have been to play Radiant Fountain so we could anticipate and try to hit Negate, but with only two Negates, that doesn't seem like the most likely thing to happen. So as long as he doesn't play, yeah, that's fine. That's exactly what we want to see. Not an Ashiok. Mills a couple things. Um, so we'll take one from Wayfinder. Yep. And we'll just anticipate here at the end of the turn. Uh, taking... I guess anticipate. And there's our negate. We wouldn't have found it in the top three, but if that was an impulse instead of an anticipate, <laughs> we would have found it. So we have dig available, counter spells of multiple flavors, anticipate, riddle. Uh, so we're going to take two here. I think we're just going to anticipate, try to save the dig for when we can leave up counter protection. Um, dissipate Magma Jet Steam Augury. Guess we'll just take Dissipate. A second dig. Alright, pass back. If our opponent plays something that we can counter, we can counter and then dig. If not, we might just riddle of lightning. Yeah. I guess we just riddle our opponent's face. Gets another card in our graveyard for our eventual dig. If he wants to counter it, that would be awesome. Do we leave them all on top? What do we care about? We would like to have Ugin. But we would also like Evolving Wilds. We will have... Hmm. I think we can leave Ugin on top. We'll leave the Zalv. We'll put Evolving Wilds to the bottom and put Ugin on top. It gets in the maximum damage. Gets Ugin out of our deck so we don't have to worry about Ashiok. Ugin in the graveyard's fine, typically, because we can hit our Haven. Ugin exiled is bad. So we're hoping to resolve a dig through time this turn. Seizure I know. Well, that will draw out a disdainful stroke. And a little risky, but he didn't fight over a seizure I know. So maybe he doesn't have the ability to. Um, so what do we get? We have a negate, a dissipate, a dig, an Ugin. We want to land. Let's take Evolving Wilds and Treasure Cruise. Evolving Wilds gets another card in our graveyard for the cruise. We still get to leave a double counter spell. And we're still working towards Dig. 
and we want the lands to get our Ugin down eventually anyway. So we'll play Evolving Wilds here. Eventually we'll find a Anger of the Gods to clean up these Wayfinders. Thoughtseize. Well, I guess we let Thoughtseize resolve. Goes with Dissipate. So that means Creature's coming down, I assume. Morph. So uh, that's got to be Den Protecta. So if he flips Den Protector, maybe he flips it to get back Thoughtseize. No, oh, Wayfinder, okay. That's not bad. What does he mill? A Rhino and a couple lands. Alright, so... Is our opponent just going to pass here? We get... Take two more. Alright, so I think we get to dig at end of turn. Hopefully our opponent doesn't have a counter spell. So we can crack Evolving Wilds. Gets us a Mountain. Dig through time. Didn't have the counter last time. Does have the counter now. Pays life for no reason. We'll just play the island here and and pass the turn. What we don't want to have happen is him to flip Den Protector, Thoughtseize use Ugin. Swings with everything. Passes the turn. How about an Anger? Steam Augury is not bad either. Alright, um... Do we Steam Augury right now? If we go to play Ugin, he flips that. I think we Steam Augury right now. So we can flip that and get back his Disdainful Stroke. He can also get back his Thought Seize. Um, well... Lightning Strike and Dissolve versus Land Lightning Strike and Dissolve. Not bad. Yep. Alright, so we ship the turn. Now the good news here is we hopefully, we'll see how he plays it, but hopefully we can force him to flip Oh, he just draws a Thought Seize. Hmm. I guess we negate the thought seize. Let our opponent attack. It's gonna drop us down to four. We have a lot of angers left, which is good. He's gotta wait on flipping. If he flips his den protector, we get to kill it and then we don't take the damage. problem with if we do it right now what happens he flips it to get a thought seize thought seizes are ugin i think we do that so if he gets a thought seize he can thought seize our ugin but then we can treasure cruise and hopefully find an anger. Could also get back his disdainful stroke. His best play might actually well, if he gets back a siege rhino. Whisper would, eh? Huh. That is not what I expected. Unless he has another thought seize in his hand. And he's trying to 
whisper wood at a time when you can't whisper wood. So we drop to six. He plays whisper wood. And he gets his manifest. Yep. And we even drew the anger. Well. Play our Ugin. Exile. Everything up to Whisperwood. What this manifest is actually really matters. He sacks it so it doesn't exile. That makes sense. If it's just a land or something, that's fine. If it's an actual threat, we could be in trouble. Probably going to have to attack Ugin. Oh, our opponent draws another Den Protector. That's probably the best draw on our opponent's deck. Attacks us. So we're down to four. Hero's downfall, okay. Well, that actually isn't... Man, if that's something you can flip, we're in trouble. Alright, we'll exile everything for our treasure cruise. Hopefully, if this gets him to flip the Den Protector, that's great. If he gets a Disdainful Stroke. Because then we can dissolve the Disdainful Stroke, Anger, both creatures, and we win. Let's it go. Alright, so now we play Sweetwater Cliffs. And Anger. Flips to then Protector to get back another Den Protector. Yep. So those go away. I think we're in good shape now. Assuming he doesn't draw a Thought Seize or something. Actually, Thought Seize would be fine. Because then we kill him. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We're 1 mana short. So we're going to dissolve this Den Protector. Mind Swipe. Ugh. I think we leave Mind Swipe. Could have tried to scry to the bottom for the instant win. Another one. He just keeps drawing them. Well, we'll anger again here. Uh, so I think we got him set up for the kill. Getting back Death Mist isn't great, because it'll just die. Is that an option? Yeah, may. Okay, so he probably doesn't want to do that. But he's going to return Ugin. Which is fine, because we have a negate. Although we might be able to mind swipe, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we can mind swipe Ugin. Ashiok. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, I guess we mind swipe Ashiok. Uh, so we got this set up for the win here. We can mind swipe. We 
We know he's got an Ugin in his hand, which he can't play. We know we have Crater's Claw. So, 4 damage from Mind Swipe. Here you can resolve Ashiok, which is fine. Yep, and then we just Crater's Claw for the win. We would even have Negate back up if we needed it, but since we know that he has an Ugin, we don't really need it. And that should do it. Yep, Crater's Claw to the face. Four, five. And we will not redirect, and that's the game. Sweet.